Pittsburghers today are recalling the many fond memories brought to them over the decades by children's TV host Paul Shannon. Paul Shannon died yesterday in Lantana, Florida after a long illness. Don Cannon looks back now on the life of this Pittsburgh TV legend whose life touched those of so many more. Paul Shannon was literally a household name in Pittsburgh from 1958 until his retirement from Channel 4 in 1975. He was the motivating force in reactivating the careers of the Three Stooges. He began to play their old films on his program, and a live appearance by the Stooges made them famous all over again. The Stooges never forgot Paul, and he was even invited to Hollywood to make a film with him. He played Wild Bill Hickok. His daily Adventure Time program played every Monday through Friday, and Cub Scouts and Brownie Troops made up his live audience. They sat in the gallery as he lowered and raised the magic sword to bring in such characters as Nosmo King, Randy Rocket, and Lippy the Leprechaun to the viewers in the studio and at home. Paul Shannon was also one of the first to promote backyard carnivals to fight muscular dystrophy, raising many thousands of dollars. A Pittsburgh native, Paul Shannon began his broadcast career as an announcer and performer at KDKA Radio back in the early 30s, where his Dreamweaver poetry reading won many awards. His last appearance here on WTAE television was our 30th anniversary special only two years ago. And now they're grown up and they have children of their own. But they all say, as grown ups, thanks for making our childhood growing up years happy ones tv celebrity paul shannon will be buried later this week ne no next week next tuesday in peters township washington county shannon died of cancer yesterday in a hospice in west palm beach florida at the age of 80. he began his broadcasting career at kdk radio but that was just the beginning of his success Paul Shannon is best known for the children's show Adventure Time. He was an avid Three Stooges fan and is credited with reviving the careers of the comic troupe on the program. Shannon also developed characters like Nosmo King and Randy Rocket. He worked at WTAE from 1958 until 1975. He retired to Lake Worth, Florida. To Pittsburghers, Shannon will also be remembered for launching the Backyard Carnival, his way of raising money to help fight muscular dystrophy. We'll be back.